Hello and welcome to the State of the Mets. I'm Andrew Vizzano of TheRealPolitans.com and today we'll be covering such topics like Manny Ramirez, Oliver Perez, and what Omar needs to do with the rest of the offseason. And it's out of here! First up, Oliver Perez. Now, the Mets just signed the pitcher for three years, $36 million. Uh, it's a good deal. I think they overpaid, but I think they had to, even though there was really no one else in the market for him. Scott Boris, his agent, is the super agent of baseball players everywhere. So he can pretty much demand whatever he wants, and he got what he wanted. Perez couldn't ask for much more than this deal. He was looking at like five years, $70 million, but that's just absurd. So uh, this deal, three years, $36 million. He's a young guy. He's still got another payday left if he has a, you know, a decent time here in New York for the next three years. Uh, he can see another huge, huge check. You know, if he's uh, in his early 30s and, and pitching well and lefty, healthy, all of those things, he could get a big payday in the uh, near future. But for the next three years, he's property of the New York Mets. I'd like to see what Dan Worthen can do with him with a full season, full spring training uh, regimen. Uh, he kind of uh, came into his own a little. He got he got some freedom when Rick Peterson was fired last year. So uh, he kind of morphed into a new pitcher. Not that Perez is really anyone solid to stand on. He's always changing and tooling with different things. But I'm confident that Perez will do well in New York. He's he's proven himself in, in big games so far. Um, he can he can pitch here, which we know, which is a, a big question mark for some pitchers. They really just can't pitch in New York. The pressure, the media, the fans, everything included. Perez has the ability to kind of shrug off bad starts. He's had plenty here. I know I've been to most of them. Um, but Perez is a good signing. He'll fit in the rotation somewhere. I'm not sure how the rotation is going to play out behind Johan, but that's a question for another day. So Perez, three years, $36 million. Uh, a good signing, not great. They might have overpaid, but he's a decent pitcher, and he'll pitch in New York, uh, hopefully well. Next up, we have Manny Ramirez. Now, uh, last night, the second Manny rally was held outside of SNY Studios in New York City. Um, you Mets fans from, I guess, all across New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, uh, went down to the studios and, and tried to rally for Omar to get Manny. But there's a, a new development in the Manny story, and it's from our good friends Impacto Deportivo. So let me read the translated version for you. It says... Came off the loco, Manny Ramirez could throw to Scott Boris. Scott Boris, who once suffered separated from his duties by Alex Rodriguez, it could suffer the same fate with Manny Ramirez. It was hoped it was it is hoped this Wednesday at import impactodeportivo.com.do Ramirez is Piayo with Boris. Boris has been estimated that a very hard time to ask, and that is moving away to the teams. Ramirez could take control of future negotiations as soon as this weekend. Now what that really is getting at, I don't know if that's what it means, but what it's getting at is that Ramirez is supposed to, supposedly going to fire Boris and take over negotiations on his own. Now, I know Boris is, you know, kind of rubs some teams the wrong way, but can you imagine Manny Ramirez negotiating his own deal? I mean, really, can you see him like walking into the, into the uh, office, business suit, he's got the book of all his stats, you know, all his postseason accomplishments, everything, and you think, you know, a team's not going to try and lowball him? I, I just can't see it happening. But I would not put it past Manny Ramirez to do such a thing. The man is crazy, and he can hit, but he's crazy. So there's no way the Mets get him. Omar ruled him out this weekend, uh, this week, so... Don't count on it. I love the Manny rally. Shake your fanny for Manny is the best thing I've heard in a long time. But it's not going to happen. Uh, I'd like to see him, but it's not going to happen. So it's time to move on, and it's time to uh, let Manny go bother another team. And it's out of here! And finally, we will focus on what Omar Minaya needs to do with the rest of the offseason. Uh, if you read my blog, you know I've either wanted a left-hander out of the bullpen or a right-hander off the bench. Now, last year, they were searching high and far for a lefty, and they couldn't find a left-handed bat anywhere. And now, they're two 
there's too much emphasis on the lefties. There's not enough righties, which is absurd to think about because no team is really built like that. Now, uh, they've been linked to Rich Aurelia, who played a bunch of in all the infield positions in the past few seasons, but you see them bulk of time at first base. But to back up Delgado, we already have Marlon Anderson. To back up uh, second base and short, we have Alex Cora. To back up David Wright, who really doesn't need a backup, we kind of have Fernando Tatis. You know, five games with Tatis at third base isn't going to be the worst thing. Um, so I really don't see a fit for Aurelia. We don't really need another left fielder. We already have two platooning out there and a cast of other guys who can come up and fill in there. Um, I don't see the need for him. But, you know, if we can dump someone, trade someone, maybe get a left-hander, uh, a left-hander out of the bullpen, that is, if we can trade, you know, maybe some fourth outfielder and, you know, maybe Luis Castillo, you know, sweeten the deal a little, um, we can land some sort of guy. But other than that, I really don't see a spot for really on the team. Maybe bring him in spring training, see what happens. You know, Tatis, he was late last season, he was late to spring training. I was dead set against him and see what he did last year. So, you know, maybe that's what it'll be with Aurelia this time around. Um, but I'd like to see the Mets sign a left-hander uh, from the bullpen. Uh, Will Oman and Joe Bimel are two prime examples that are still left out there. Obviously, they might have to give up a draft pick uh, if they sign one of them. Uh, but I think it's worth it. They really don't have a solid guy, out of a lefty, that can go, you know, a whole inning. Feliciano is more of a situational guy, and uh, we've seen what happens when we try and stretch Feliciano out, um, Manuel, and uh, Randolph tried to do that, and, you know, it, you saw what happens. He appeared, appeared in 83 games last year, but uh, he's really only good against, you know, in a situational spot. You know, facing the right guy. He can't really do whole innings or multiple innings. Um, so maybe a, a good left-hander that can put together an inning uh, would be a perfect addition. I think Omen and Bimel are, are perfect for that role. There are a few Rule 5 draft picks they have that, you know, might Steven register their way onto the team, but actually make the team and not head back to the, where they came from. So uh, we'll see how spring training plays out. Um, you never know, there could be some sort of spring training trade uh, during the spring or maybe even at the very beginning of the year uh, when, when we realize that we do need another lefty. Uh, so the team does need uh, something else. Omar shouldn't be done with the offseason. Um, Manny's not happening. He already got his, his starting rotation is in, is in order. You know, we have a bunch of guys that can fill in behind him, but... Uh, Two more spots, maybe just one spot, but two roles that need to be filled, and I think Omar needs to address one of them soon, or at least soonish. So that's it for the State of the Mets for this week. Uh, if you're wondering, I am wearing a shirt that is supposed to be a snowman. See the little coal, the scarf? And if you pay close attention to the other videos, I actually wore this shirt already. Um, it's not that I don't have a lot of shirts, it's just coincidence, I promise. So uh, that is the State of the Mets. I'm Andrew Vizano of theropolitans.com. Have a good one. Everybody's coming down.